Hey everybody, my name is Sam. And I'm Angela, and welcome to our channel. Viewers of our channel will know that this is the camper we're borrowing from Angela's parents to stay in boondock at my brother's farm while we work on our new property. However, this thing's got to go because we're going from this to this. Let's go. Camper tour, coming up. So welcome to the camper. Isn't it awesome? This is probably the cleanest it'll ever be. <laughs> but hey, that's wonderful. So it feels so much more spacious in here than the old camper did. And I guess it makes us appreciate this so much more. We really like the natural light coming in too um, because we like well lit areas. So right now you are in the living area we have a pull-out couch right here and a little chair that you'll get to see in a minute. And then we have our kitchen area. We have tons of cabinets and space to put food and dishes and stuff like that. Still kind of messing around where things will be going. A nice double basin sink. And we did have to add a new faucet. The other one was leaking out of several places and I really needed a sprayer to be able to hand wash the dishes better. We do have a gas stove here, which um, I've actually never really cooked on before, so this will be new for me. And then microwave up here. The fridge is um, electric or propane, which will help, I'm sure, at some point. <laughs> and if you'll look over here, we have the dining area. It's a full dinette that all four of us can sit at and it has a nice big window that we can open up and let the fresh breeze come in because since we're getting into fall now, it's actually feeling very nice outside, especially with the breezes. This too does let down into a bed, but since it has bunks back here that you'll see in a second, we won't have to put these down. So here are the two bunk beds. We have Elijah's up top and Isaac's on the bottom. And since they are little caves when you pull down the shades, the boys sleep awesome in here and I'm just tickled about that. One thing that was kind of neat if you do have a camper like this are the mattresses are very thin and since they're a lot smaller, a regular twin size won't fit on them. You would have to like put straps and stuff to hold it. I was afraid that they would be able to fill it through the small mattress. So I made huge pillow slips to put on underneath. Actually a twin size flat sheet fit perfectly for me to just like zip down the edge with a sewing machine and then cut off the excess and twirl it up, whatever you want to say. Um, but it fits very well and I don't have to worry about them losing it while they're sleeping. We do have an accordion door right here, which helps whenever the boys are ready to go to bed. But we're not, so we can stay up. So this gives them some privacy and makes it darker for them to be able to go to sleep. One of the things that I absolutely loved about this camper is that it has extra storage right here. A lot of the other ones we looked at did not have any extra storage. Um, when we start staying here, longer term as far as waiting on our house to be moved and everything this is going to come in handy this is where the boys clothes are going to go and probably the clothes hamper and that type thing so it is a very large and it has nice smears on the outside and then here's the bathroom but i'll let sam show you that one i have been told that it is time for the long-awaited highly anticipated bathroom tour and that I'm the guy to give the tour. So, check this out. 
This is a very nice large bathroom, especially compared to the 67 Avion that we were borrowing from Angel's parents. Get around this way. So you walk in, you got the toilet right there front and center, ready to rock and roll. Sink, vanity, light switch, runs the LED lights here, plus an exhaust fan and a vent. Most important, well used. There is a medicine cabinet, which is really cool, with stuff in it. Don't know if we'll show that. So the bathroom is great. The biggest question most of you are wondering is how is the shower? Well, this is a shower and tub. It's wet, I got socks on. <laughs> I have socks on, so I'm not gonna climb into the tub because it's still a little bit wet from us taking showers this morning. But I'm happy to say and report this is ginormous compared to that other shower, and it is great. We have hot water, we have plenty of room, we have nozzle on a rope, or whatever you want to call it, so great. It's even a bathtub, although I don't know if anybody's going to take a bath, but it has the option, and it is rock solid and sturdy, and I don't feel like I'm about to fall through it or go fled Flintstone style whenever I'm in here. So, two thumbs up from this guy. So here's the nice view from the back looking towards the front. You can come on this way. And you can see that we have our nice little armchair here. We do have an area here. We may take this out and put a um, on the wall TV that we can kind of swivel um, just so we can hook up the iPads or something like that with downloaded movies since we won't have internet whenever we're camping out on the land, obviously. And the very front is the bedroom. It does have a queen size bed in it. Um, I didn't know this until we bought this camper, but camper mattresses are usually shorter. And a queen mattress is normally a 60 by 80, but an RV queen is a 60 by 75. This one has the 60 by 80, so you can't quite get around the mattress to like walk around. You kind of get to do as Sam calls the turtle roll. I will not show you how that is. But pretty much you kind of sit down on the bed, lean on your back and swing your feet over. So it's very interesting. But take a look at this wonderful quilt that a viewer made for us. She also made some for the boys, but those are staying at home because they use them like every night. Um, but. I think somebody heard that I like sunflowers, which I do, and so she made it specially for us, and it even says Greenacre Homestead and Sam and Angela. This camper is a 1996 Terry model, I believe made by Fleetwood, and is, as far as the side of the sticker on the side of the camper, is 29 feet long. It is in phenomenal shape for its age. The only things we've had to tweak are the front door, which you guys will have seen that video where I just did a quick little repair, and then I had to caulk the roof at the front corner where it had a little bit of a leak in and it kind of puckered the front wall a tiny bit. Other than that, all the systems work, didn't have any problems, and as you guys can see, this is like a time capsule from 1996. Original upholstery, cabinetry, curtains, blinds, everything is in very, very good shape. I don't know if we are exactly the fourth owners of this camper or not, but the person we bought it from, their parents bought it in like 2004 when it was about eight years old, and they had it ever since now whenever we got it. So low owners I guess I don't know it's been really well taken care of as far as mechanical systems and infrastructure utilities the AC works that's what you've been hearing throughout this video uh, the, okay so for us Angel and I this is the newest camper we've ever owned so the fact that it has AC but then has duct work throughout the camper is awesome and so that works and that's running is what you hear the propane heater also works, or the furnace. We used it in the nights because it's been getting cool at night. That works perfectly on thermostat. Everything's controlled here. Um, the water heater works great. It is propane and electric, both, like two in one. 
that's great. I mean, I don't know what to say. Like, everything works. It's really cool. For the price we were able to get this at, it's a wonderful camper and a truly a huge blessing for us. So I'm trying to think of anything else to cover. Do the turtle roll. <laughs> do the turtle roll? Yes! All right. I hope I won't do a butt shot. This is how we get in and out of our bedroom. It's, uh, it's, it's actually pretty cool. It lets you pop your back, a little chiropractic work. So, as you can see, no room for legs. So you do this. And that's the turtle roll. Once you have turtled yourself into the bedroom, you've got plenty of room to stand here. The bed is flanked by two large wardrobes where we can hang things. There's also drawers underneath and cabinetry above. Plenty of storage. Plenty of room for all of our clothes and stuff that we keep in here. Over here, there is a really cool retro fold-down TV stand. Um, otherwise, it's a bedroom, which is awesome for us. Queen-size bed, room for both of our things plus extras, and is great. The bed's really comfortable. There is storage underneath, so it does lift up. Um, I don't know what to say. It's cool. It's great. So here is the built-in entertainment center with the camper. You got this metal fold-down shelf, heavy duty, with your 12 volt outlet, cable box, and outlets for power. You can tell this was made in the days of tube TVs, the big cubes. So I don't know if this shelf will get used much, although it's pretty cool to have here. But I do really like having this plug here because I'll plug up a uh, charger for my watch and my phone and just lay them here on top of the valence or the windows, and that's pretty cool. And that's how you get out. Turtle out! <laughs> so the flooring changes a little bit in here. It is still all original. We start out with linoleum in the bathroom. The little bedroom area has carpet. Then we're back into linoleum for the kitchen dining room area. And then we're back into carpet for the living room and the bedroom up front. We do hope to get a steam cleaner so we can clean out the carpets and probably the upholstery like in the dinette and on the couch. It's not that dirty looking to look at, but it is like 25 years worth of dirt and dust and that type of thing. Well, and it's also, as we use the camper, we're going to get it dirty. We so, have two messy boys. Yeah, uh, three, me. Um, it'll be nice to have it so we can help clean and maintain the upholstery. Right. One of the other cool things about the camper is it has a fully functioning, working, and intact awning. It is amazing and wonderful to have just about the full camper's length worth of rain protection and shade. Mm -hmm. Especially this time of year, it's getting closer to October and the weather's nice, so it's just really, really nice. It is. I agree. Well guys, hopefully you enjoyed our camper tour, the new to us camper that we were able to get and we're so lucky and blessed that we got with the price range and with how difficult it is to find a travel trailer or camper nowadays. It is. So we love it. If you have any questions or comments about this video, what can they do? Leave it below. We'd love to read them and otherwise we'll see you guys next time on one of the homesteads. See ya. Bye.